All right, let's talk about this tab function in Pro Tools. Okay, so today's gonna be a bit of a shorty video. I just wanna show you a really quick concept about something that's kind of new in Pro Tools, relatively new. So if you have a old version of Pro Tools, you might not have this feature. Um, I believed it was introduced this year at some point, uh, 2023. If not, it was like later 2022. But um, basically it's the idea that you can tab to automation breakpoints. So before we get started on that, I'm just going to give you a really brief uh, uh, overview or review on the tab function in Pro Tools. So we have regular tab functions, right, in Pro Tools where it goes to the next breakpoint when you hit tab. So if I hit tab here, it's going to jump to the beginning of this clip here. And then I think I have a fade on here. So it's going to jump to the end of the fade and then to the next one and then to the end of the next fade and so on. So it'll go to the next breakpoint by default in Pro Tools. I can do Shift and Tab to highlight, and I can do Option Shift Tab to highlight backwards. I can do Option Tab to go backwards. And that's kind of how it works. Option makes it go backwards, uh, Shift makes it highlight, Tab goes forward normally. So we have that, and then we have the Tab to Transients function, which you can turn on with this button up here. I have more detail on the regular Tab function and the Tab to Transients function in previous videos, so I'm going to link to those. I'll probably put a card up on the screen or I'll put it in the description below for you. I'm just giving you a really quick overview here. And basically the Tab to Transients function, it works the same way, right? So Tab goes forward, Option Tab goes backwards, Shift combined with any of that makes it highlight a region, a range. And so the only difference here is that with tab to transients, it goes to the next transient. So that's whenever the waveform has a quick spike in it. Um, Pro Tools decides for itself what qualifies as a transient. It's usually when it goes from very quiet to a, like the onset of a sound. That's what it deems to be a transient. So I'll just show you that really quick here. I'm going to use this drum loop here to show you. But if I hit tab, it's going to jump between where the audio spikes. So it's going to jump to those spiky locations. Spiky is totally the technical term for that. But it's when it's jumping from zero to something greater than zero <laughs> at some point. And actually, it's technically not at zero, right? But um, you know what I mean, I hope. It's going from quiet to loud. It's the onset, the transients of the sound. So the new thing that I wanted to show you today is that they added a tab function to tab to the next automation breakpoint. So whenever we have an automation graph here in Pro Tools, um, automation graphs are just these lines that show us how we're changing parameters over time, right? So it could be things like here, it's uh, a band within my EQ that I'm automating. It can be your volume automation. It can be like this one's audio audio volume automation on a MIDI track, an instrument track technically. Um, it can be, you can automate all kinds of things, right? So you can automate the fader on your track. You can automate your pan knobs, for example. Those are a couple of very common ones. There are a bunch of different things you can automate, but when you automate, you get an automation graph. And if you open the automation graph, you can see where these breakpoints are for the changes that you've made. And you can add breakpoints here. So I'm in the smart tool. If I hold command and click, it'll add a breakpoint for me. It'll add one of those dots. And now I can click and drag it around. And this parameter here, the seventh band in my EQ is now going to go down and then back up because of that change that I just made. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm just going to highlight and then hit delete here to get rid of that. Um, so that's what these breakpoints are, are these dots for the, the change in your automation graph. So if you notice, if you jump onto an automation graph, you actually put your cursor there um, on that track or that subtrack, right? You can hit tab and it's going to jump to the next dot, the next breakpoint in your automation. So this makes it, um, it just opens up another way for you to travel around your session. And it behaves in all the same ways. So if I do shift tab, it's going to highlight. If I, for example, do option tab, it's going to go backwards to the previous uh, dot, the previous breakpoint. If I do option shift tab, it's going to highlight backwards. So the same feature that a lot of us know and love and use to travel around audio tracks or um, you know different types of tracks, we can now use on automation graphs as well. So I just wanted to share that with you today. That's basically it. The only other thing is, if you have the newest version of Pro Tools, so the version that was released on June 8th, 2023, if you're watching this in the future, um, I believe it's 2023.6 is the version of Pro Tools. They have now added a preference that you can dig into in Pro Tools that'll allow you to um, set whether or not you want to have this uh, tab to automation breakpoints uh, feature active. 
So apparently Pro Tools got some feedback from people saying that some people were annoyed by this new feature, the tab to break, break points. Um, I've actually actively thought that I wanted it in the past, so it hasn't, and it hasn't bothered me. Um, but apparently they did get some feedback saying that people didn't like it. And so what they did is they've made it optional now. So they've actually added that in the preferences as something that you can turn on and off. So if you've noticed this in the past and it has annoyed you, you can turn it off. Just go into your preferences and find that feature if you have the newer version of Pro Tools, if you have at least this version of Pro Tools or later. And the other thing is that you can assign it to a key modifier. So that makes it even easier to turn it on and off if you so desire, if you're into that. So I think that's about it for this shorty video. I hope you like it. I hope someone finds this helpful. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash noise. My patrons get access to additional content. We're hanging out on a Discord server. We're running a book club on there. It's been a lot of fun. We're just nerding out about audio stuff together. So if you um, feel like joining that, please check out my Patreon. I think you can join for as little as a dollar a month. So um, other than that, uh, I come out with new videos every Wednesday and thank you so much for hanging out. Okay. So I'm wearing this shirt. I haven't worn it in a while, but it's got, uh, stripes on it, but then it also has like these little tiny, like, I think they're llamas or alpacas. I'm not sure which one. And I am not going to spend the brain power on sorting it out right now. She tells herself so she doesn't Google it for way too long after this. Um, but it makes me smile, so I'm wearing it again. Anyway, that's uh, that's silly. All right, so I got to go. It's almost the end of the day, and I have to do a couple of mixed tweaks and send them out to clients before heading out for the night. I'm going to Evan's show tonight, so that should be fun. Um, yeah. All right. Bye.